Hello farmers, welcome back to the Pacific Northwest. Looking at a worker in the T8, he is seeding some wheat in one of the, well, I'm gonna say new fields, but combined fields, and behind him is a seed roll. What's so special about that? Well, it's a new one. Uh, yeah, we kind of talked about this last week, about maybe buying a second seed roll for down in the lower plateau, and for as long as it's taken to seed the cotton field, uh, as we're calling on the east side, That'll be the east side. Yeah, the east side. As you can see back there, the John Deere is still planting cotton in the, on the field 33 slash 35. I'm like, it, it, that's going to take a while. So we spent 200 grand to buy another seed roll, another uh, Stara. So that should definitely help out production down here, speed up. Uh, so yeah, we're seeding wheat in the combination field 32 slash 34. Yeah, I think that's correct. Um, how's it looking on the on the PDA? Not too bad. So you can see we got, I would say, half the cotton field done. Uh, remember when I was talking about, I think, this field over here on the west side is about the same size as the one on the east side? You can kind of see where I'm coming from, but I do think, <laughs> I do think, uh, yeah, this field over here is going to be, a, is, is a lot bigger now that I look at it that way. If I just went to the PDA, I'd be like, yeah, it's a lot bigger. Uh, and, of course, you can see our wheat over here coming along nicely then we just have to seed this one over here i'm actually thinking about buying another seed hut and fertilizer hut and putting one like maybe up in this corner uh, but i mean really i just got to go to here it's not that big of a deal our money situation is looking okay oh yeah and by the way i am harvesting up here uh let's go ahead and take care of this guy over here and a while ago i was talking about uh course play as well about how come the worker doesn't stop and the someone mentioned about uh, there is a tab and course play to stop the combine harvester worker from stopping when it's unloading so i got that checked so when he's unloading he shouldn't take off but uh yeah we started the work in this field here just to get the sunflower harvest and the upper plateau started um what am i going to get done up here today i don't know we're just going to go along and see what happens yeah so the money situation i'm still running at one times the speed by the way because i don't want the weeds to oddly grow in one of the fields down there until i'm done har uh, not harvesting but seeding so uh, once they get done seeding down there, I'll put it back up to times five just to speed up. But yeah, we got four hundred sixty thousand dollars in the bank account. At the end of the day, I would love to be able to pay off four hundred thousand dollars off the loan, so I got a profit like forty thousand dollars somewhere there. I might get like twenty thousand from the greenhouses and such like that, so I may have to sell something. I mean, I don't have to sell anything, but uh, that's just the goal. I try to set myself goals on the Pacific Northwest of how much the loan I like to pay off every day, as you know, you've been following along long enough at this point. Um, yeah, so this field up here does need lime. It need lime last time, but I was kind of waiting to get these fields all in sync because um, these field, I think these four fields here, the other four that we got up here, I think they're in sync for lime spreading, but this one up here is not. So I'm just holding off on this one for the time being. So yeah, we're starting to harvest up here. This is what we're gonna be kind of focusing on somewhat today as i keep track of these down here um you know what let's go ahead and stop this worker for the time being because as you might see he's getting kind of low on some resources in the seed roll and since he's on this side of the field and he's at the end of the field and we're in the tractor let's go ahead and fill him on up head on down to alien jim's little uh fertilizer hut and seed hut and top this thing off but the only thing about having big fields and doing a lot of seeding, uh, it costs a lot of cash to put the crops in. But we're going to get definitely a lot more in return on it uh, when we get done. As for the west side, the west side is pretty much all set. The lower plateau, I think uh, probably tomorrow morning those fields will be ready for harvest. Uh, let me, uh, you don't know, that's the button I want. There we go. Yep. Uh, come over here. Yeah, since it's midday today. I think we're, what, in the third stage, and then sometime in the evening will be fourth stage, and sometime in the morning uh, we should be all set to harvest the sugar beet and uh, get the cotton harvester up and going. And really, once the cotton harvester gets up and going, he may be a busy person for a while because this field over here is definitely going to take a while as well. All right, so we got this seed roll all top off. Let's go ahead and cover those back up. And get this seed roll back up and running, putting in the cotton. I ask you, thank you. For some reason, the seed roll takes a second. You hit the unfold button, and, and the seed roll takes a second. Like, uh, I'll think about it. It's like, yeah, okay. I'll unfold. There 
There we go. Get it somewhat lined up. All right. Ma'am, sir, whoever was driving before, you can get started. Perfect. Also, in the next couple days, uh, maybe next episode, uh, I'm going to have to start taking care of the animals a little bit. Uh, they could use some attention. attention. Uh, especially the cows, they're kind of like in the lower one-third of their stats. And, of course, we're getting like four to six cows extra per day now. So their stats are going to look worse and worse. Uh, chickens could use some feed up here and, uh, the sheep could use some water. And of course the pigs are pretty well off. They just need some straw. So overall things are looking really darn good in the farm. Um, uh, we're paying off the loan where, you know, the last couple weeks we got the loan below 30 million. We spent two and a half million buying land and now we converted that over. We're finally getting those fields reseeded. And get the ball rolling on those and in a couple days I cannot wait to see how many uh, I almost said bales it's modules of cotton we get off that fields 33 slash 35 I kind of forgot coming up here this masher does need a little bit of fuel and uh, probably needs to be repaired the header is fine um, but the harvester itself not so much I just want to empty out the harvester as much as I can so make sure you can finish this field as you can see, the trailer is full of sunflower. I need to head back to the farm and uh, dump this off into the silo. And then I need to come back, or may just wait here because we're almost done. I need to grab the harvester and clear out, for some reason, course play is missing little pieces here and there at the end. I'm not going to complain too much because, well, you know, it's a worker. Uh, I do need to update course play. The thing with course play is I hate to update it when it seems to work pretty darn good for me. I have not updated course play in months, so maybe little things like that can be are taken care of or whatever. And I keep thinking, yeah, I'll update course play when I get done recording, and then of course I do a whole bunch of other things, and you know, and I forget about it until I go use course play as I'm recording. Like, oh, I haven't updated that yet, and I should have. So after we get done here harvesting this field, I'm going to send them over to field number four. Um. Yeah, field number four would be next. And, uh, yeah, then we, we can kind of get going. I and mean, i got to make sure I keep track of uh, Worker D. Which one are you? Um, are you actually done with that field? Or what's the what's the situation? you got a tiny little sliver left there, don't you? Um, you should have enough C to finish that little strip. I mean, is it even worth it? Uh, it's a worker, so we'll let him go. Um, let me jump back up here because I think our combine is done. Alright, we'll stop driver, clear course, turn that off. Um, what do you got behind me? Uh, a little bit here and there. So I am going to clean up this field here, bring back what I have in the trailer, uh, get a worker going to field number four harvesting, and then of course the T8 should be done planting wheat in that combination field. I need to move over one more field to get that one done. Uh, in other words, I'm going to see you, for you, like I always say, it's going to be in a second. For me, uh, probably about 5-10 minutes. Well, it's taken me a while to get some things sorted, and wow, $4,300 in wage payments in the last hour. But we are running at one time to speed. <laughs> I do got a few amount of workers going here, so uh, fees do apply. Anyways, uh, field number four behind us is officially done for harvesting. That field needs lime. So I think all these fields down here, or not down here, we're up here. We're in the upper plateau. Uh, should require the lime. So what I'm probably going to do is, after I empty this off and get him back over by the combine, get ready to unload, is we're going to grab the Volta tractor and put the fertilizer spreader on that. And we're going to go around and uh, get a worker hired to start spreading some fertilizer around. That way, when I put lime down, I go to reseed. Yes, you get the point. Two stages of fertilization done and complete. And I don't have to worry about it until um, the weeds grow in the field. I was down uh, checking out the factories because I kind of forgot uh, where the status was, was there. Uh, um, I don't remember weeding the fields on the western side of the lower plateau, but apparently... I have, except for the part where the weeds were already grown, because they're in stage 2. I'm like, well, if those weeds are in stage 2, that means the rest of the field had stage 1 at some point. I don't remember weeding it, but apparently we have. Anyways, now i got to find the vulture tractor. Yeah, so lime here, lime here. Um, 
Yeah, I finally knew where my Vulture tractor was. Is it here? Is it, is it in here? No. How about if I just visit here? Of course, I'm not visiting. I own this. I still got weeds in front of my <laughs> my sheds from like day one. Uh, where did I leave my Volta tractor? Does anyone re recall what I, what I did with that thing? I mean, it's, if it's not there, then it's got to be over here somewhere. Oh, right there. Hello. Oh, I, probably when we sold the eggs. That's where. That's why you're sitting here. All right. So, anyways, um, I was just looking around because, you know, every time I think I'm done buying something. Uh, yeah, the, the brain starts working. It's like, you know what you could use? And uh, I was actually thinking I could use another tractor. No, keep running. I just want to hit that button. All right. Um, I, I was thinking I could use another tractor up here. Uh, the point being is, like right now, um, I got the, the class. He's hauling around the seed. Uh, the vulture is going to be spreading some fertilizer around. Um, I was actually thinking it would be nice to have another tractor so I could seed with. I need something that's 300 horsepower. I don't know what the horsepower of this tractor is. If this has got 300 horsepower, that should be enough to, to haul around some stuff. Although I would not want to haul around with the narrow tires on it because that looks just kind of stupid. But, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got, you know, as we're harvesting, I like to just get a tractor right back in the field and just put the seed right back in there. Uh, but right now I can't because it, they all need lime apparently. Um, this is this is a future thought, but every time, I, like I say, I think I'm done buying something. Like after I got done buying the seed drill uh, in between episodes that we're now using, I'm like yeah, I don't really need anything else. And it's like you know, but up here I could use. I mean, I, I mean, I could just grab a tractor from down below. But right now all my tractors are being used, except for the autonomous tractor. But uh, we only use that on the. Um, the west side when it comes time to uh, bail or something like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this guy up in field number three. We'll put him on course play. Uh, we'll get the fertilizer down. Uh, the class will have to go around and spread the lime around. I don't know how much horsepower this Voltra has, actually. But I was looking at tractors. I was on the page that shows you what, what equipment you have. And you can kind of tell how many days you run there because uh, the oldest equipment that I have, I had for 67 days. So I've only played for 67 days on the Pacific Northwest in FS19, which seems like not enough days. So, yeah, we had a $55 million loan, and in 67 days I've paid off, uh, what, what are we at, $25 million? Yeah, that's right, $25 million I paid off. Which you may say, it doesn't seem like that good, but I have purchased a lot of factories <laughs> along the way as well. Uh, nope, I need you to do this. Don't wait, where are we here? Uh, no, wrong button. This button, there we go. Course generation, field number three. Um, I'll do two headlands because why not? Two headlands is probably too much. And... Now we'll go ahead and hit drive course and you're free to go. My combine is just about full apparently. Oh, that's right. You're on a hired worker, not course play. So you're going to go and do that on me, aren't you? Pipe is going to be on the wrong side. Unless I can get the worker to stop. Just like that. No, no, stay right there. No, 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 don't go anywhere. Just stay right there so I have to fire you and pack it up myself. So, yeah, the rest of the afternoon, I think we're actually almost done down here as well. Oh, yeah, so field 31 is now complete. Uh, do we have enough to get this field done? Just barely. I think I had to refill the seed roll so you had the initial, uh, initial uh, load of fertilizer and seed in it. So I think this is like the third load of seed and fertilizer that's in it to do this field here. Yeah, you can definitely tell by the size of the field is bigger because the other cotton field, I only have to refill it once, and it's more than enough. It doesn't, yeah, uh, that's going to be that's gonna be a lot of cotton modules. I cannot wait in a couple days to see how many modules we get out this field. That's for darn sure. Plus, I mean, we, I mean yeah, it's going to be nice. It's going to be really good, especially when the price reaches pretty close to $2,000 at our sale point in the upper plateau. 
And that can bring tons of modules up and it's going to look really good in their bank account when that happens. All right, so go ahead and fold that up. You are done. So since we are all done working down here, let me go ahead and turn the speed time up to times five. Uh, we'll go top this off with seed and fertilizer. And I think this seed roll will stay over here for now. I want the John, because I need the John Deere to stay over here because this field, these fields are going to get grown with weeds in it. Sometime soon now. So I need to switch the John Deere probably over to the narrow tires once again. So that big weeder that we have will come in handy. Uh, probably take a while to weed all these fields, but you know what? We just hire a worker, which we do quite a bit, a lot of now on this map because there's just too many fields for me to handle. I mean, I try to handle it, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just constantly running around like, okay, this needs to be taken care of. That needs to be taken care of. Very rarely do I get to work in a, in a field constantly and just say, oh, I'll get to it when I get, get to the other workers as well. But I had a pretty good rotation going on down here, I think. Uh, but now with the extra fields and then merging them all together, it's going to take a while to get the rotation down, Pat. And, but once I do, we'll be fine. And that $30 million loan that we have, I think we're going to chew into it quite a bit here in the next couple weeks as well. Uh, because not only do we have more fields to harvest and more income coming in, our horses are getting ready to, for another cycle. Uh, after t you know two more days from now, I'm going to have... Probably 400 grand from one horse stable in a couple more days. Yeah. You can see where it's going. All right. So this is all set. So for now, I'm going to bring you on back. Oh, we'll bring over back to the silo. I think my weeder is over here. The 30 meter wide one. Should be over here. And on the T8 with that seed roll. That is going to go over to the other side because the T8 we use for baling and or whatever in the grass field. And uh, one cedar over there is good enough because we used to do that all the time, no problem. I don't think I have room in my sheds down here. I do not. Uh, so for now, we're just going to park this right here and that's all good. Uh, and leave everything down here the way it is. I will just... Can I fold this up when it's not running? I probably should get it out of the field though because if I leave it here and forget about it and the crops grow, I will have, get a little crop damage by uh, having the T8 in the field. So let's just go ahead and get it out of the field. There we go. So lower plateau, we are done with. And you're just, yeah, I'm in the way. I know I'm always in the way and I kind of need to fire you because I'm going to take over harvesting myself. Uh, don't hit me with those spikes, those could hurt. So I spent a good amount of cash today <laughs> filling up the seed with fertilizer and seed. And of course we had the workers going. So originally, like I said, I needed a little bit of cash because I would like to pay off 400 grand. So in other words, I'd like to get up at a half million dollars in the bank account by the end of the day, which is, I don't want to say it, it, it's rather easy. I got, I got enough surplus sitting around the farm where I could find something to sell. But we did a lot of that in the last couple of weeks trying to get enough money to buy the land. So, I mean, I sold all the eggs, we sold all the milk. Um, a lot of our inventory that we sold for, I mean, crop that we had in silos. But we're, we're building it back up. The cows have a good amount of milk. They're almost up to like 60, is it 60 or 80,000 liters of, of milk they got already again? And of course the chickens are just gonna produce tons of eggs like they always do. Uh, the sheep, I haven't really checked on the sheep at all lately. I just let the sheep do the thing. Because the sheep can, uh, that, that sheep barn can hold a lot of wool. Of course, we got 10 crates that can hold 10,000 liters a piece. So once those get filled up, that's 100,000. And then uh, the barn itself can hold like another like 15 pallets or so at 1,000 per. So it takes a while for them to build up, but we're, we're getting a good amount of sheep as well. But I'm thinking what we might do probably in tomorrow's episode is... Um, we'll probably do a little bit of seeding. Uh, I, I'm going to try to get the fertilizing and lime spreading done in between episodes. I'll try to. It doesn't mean I'm going to, but you know how that works out. Uh, I'll try to get done as much as I can. Uh, yeah, then we'll get, do some seeding in the upper plateau. 
and uh, take care of the animals up here, like the like the chickens and the sheep. Definitely need a little bit of attending to, and uh, the cows need some tender loving care as well. Like I said, but now with the speed back of the times five, things should progress a little bit on our fields. I'm pretty sure the John Deere might be weeding by then somewhere or what have you. Uh, I'd like to get it done rest in the rest in game day today because, like I said, when I wake up in the morning, uh, the lower west side should be ready for it. And I think if I remember the grass field, I kind of said I may need some hay. So I will have to re uh, recheck to see how much hay I have around the, uh, around the farm. So no making silage bales there. And then, uh, of course, we'll have our sugar beet and cotton field. Hopefully those will be ready. And then, uh, yeah, I, I really, I'm really looking forward now to a couple days from, from now to see how many cotton modules I can get off that field that we just seeded. That's going to be rather interesting to see. Can I get the rest of the sunflower in this combine before I uh, to finish the field? I don't think so. So we are going to have a good amount of sunflower I could probably sell today as well. But, you know, if I get to half a million today, we get to half a million today. Uh, the, the meat is something I probably should sell because the meat is going for over a thousand dollars. I don't have that much meat. I probably got like 20... Uh, I don't know if I got 20 pallets or not. Uh, it'd be kind of close. But the problem is it's up here. So it's a little bit of a journey. But that would mean if I had 20 times... Uh, is it 4,000 liters a piece? I could probably get like $80,000. So that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Got the Voltra all set in field number three. He's now in field number four. Hired worker going along well. And now we're onto this field harvesting it. Moving along nicely. I did take a second to look in my garage stats to see how much horsepower that Voltra has. It actually has 245 horsepower. The Cedro requires 300. So I think what I could do, I bet you that Voltra should have no problem with 245 horsepower hauling a trailer like this full of, of grain. So in the future, what I might do um, when it comes time to harvesting up here is I'll have to, have to put the Voltra on the trailer and the class can follow behind the combine and start seeding in the field. Just to get the process rolling quicker, uh, like anything, the sooner you put the seed into the ground... No, no, you can keep on, keep on working. I'm not... I wanted to get you on the go. Uh, yeah, the sooner you put the seed in the ground, well, the sooner it's going to be ready for harvest, and uh, the sooner you can harvest, the sooner you can get some cash, and repeat the process. Kind of like we're trying to do here. Uh, but right now, the process is fine, because... I'm not sure what that worker was doing. It slowed down quite a bit. Um... Yeah, right now it doesn't matter too much because uh, we need lime. So fertilize first, lime. Yeah, we already went through that process. Don't need to explain it again. But that's what we're doing. That, that vulture is going to catch up pretty quick. Fertilizing the fields behind us. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to work out rather well up here, I do believe. Get all these fields in the right sequence. Finally. Uh, it's been like forever like that where they're off sequence. You go ahead and just finish unloading. Um, and yep, so we just got field 20 to harvest. I do need to remind myself after I get on harvesting, bring the combine up, top it off with some uh, diesel fuel. And it should be good to go. Alright, I need to save myself some cash, so let me jump back in here. Fire the worker. Always sounds rude when I say it like that. Fire the worker like they've done a bad job. Dismiss the worker. Um, you are not quite needed anymore at this time. So also, you know, it's going to be a big milestone a little bit when the loan hits $27.5 million. Because technically that is the halfway point of paying off the loan. So in a way, like I said earlier, right now we I've been on this map for 67 days. Uh, it's going to be kind of curious. I'm pretty sure I can pay the second half of this loan off much quicker than 67 days. I don't need to stockpile a whole bunch of food and I don't have to wait for the animals to build up in their pens. Because for a while there, I mean, I think when we started we had like, what, 10 chickens or something like that? Oh, I can't quite get the whole row, huh? It's alright. And now we got, I think we probably got a total of, what, 1,200 chickens now? 
it's all good especially when it comes to chickens it's kind of funny when I, every time I think about chickens at Farming Simulator 19 uh, without season chickens to me are the way to go um, they're, they're cheap uh, to start off you only got to buy you can buy a couple and get your your chicken farm going and they produce eggs really really fast and a lot of eggs and the price of eggs seem to be pretty darn good and then you go into seasons and um, yeah, uh, the egg production is rather slow in seasons which is fine that's just the way it is oh okay that's got to be the the vulture fertilizing field number four and I bet you you didn't complete field number four because no one ever completes field number four when I hire a worker. It's not going to take them long to fertilize these fields down here either. But once they get done fertilize, yeah, for, uh, harvesting, dump all the seeds into the silo. The class tractor will grab our uh, lime spreader and start going around and spread some lime. And then we can get right back to, to seeding the fields. Hip hip hooray. Um, as for what I'm putting in here next, I kind of forgot the rotation that we have. Uh, I think it's, uh, what, soybean next up here? I really can't remember. I think I'm actually going to plant canola. I may have done canola previously, but I think I'm going to stick to canola that way. Um, then it'll be, it'll be canola, soybean, and then sunflower. If I do it in alphabetical order, I might be able to remember it that way, so... I think this is what I'm going to have to do because I'll forget. So since this is sunflower, next in line is canola. Then there'll be some uh, soybean. Then sunflower. If that all makes sense. So yeah, next in game day for the World Plateau. Definitely the grass field. i got to make hay with that. Get some in, in storage. Uh, definitely because I need to make some more Tomex rations. I should have enough for the cows anyways. But we're about due to just make a whole bunch of hay, bring it on over. And then I will bring a bale up here for the sheep, a bale or two. I think I've been bringing a couple of bales up and we just sleep in the feed trough and uh, they've gone through that quite fast. I really don't know how many sheep we have at the moment because I think this, this sheep pen holds like 250 sheep, so a good amount. Yeah, the chickens could use a good clean out, although those pens down there, even though they're messy, I don't think it, it, it uh, harms their production. So I think they're fine in that sense. Yeah, so I'm going to put you on a worker again. I know, I keep dismissing the worker, get the worker back. Did you actually fertilize? Hey, you actually did fertilize the whole field. Congratulations. Let's get you moving along here, and uh, you can start fertilizing... Um, is it field 11 and 12? Well, if it's not, that's what I'm calling it. 11 and 12. As a matter of fact, I might as well go ahead and fertilize it because it won't take me long at all. Turn it on so I can see the working width here. Ah, that's pretty darn good. Close enough. I probably need to fix this spreader as well because the spreader is something is one of those things that's like, hey, it doesn't need fixing, it's fine. Um, but I think the working speed will slow down and that means I just use more fertilizer on a field than I need to. But I hate fixing things sometimes because it costs a little bit of cash. But I'm probably losing that much cash in a fertilizer that I have to use extra. So, yep, we're in the last field for harvest of the day uh, right over there and I think my combine is going to be pretty much full pretty soon but I am going to finish fertilizing this field and then take care of the rest of the fields like I said uh, once I get done uh, the class tractor will be spreading some lime uh, he's 80% full yeah you'll be full by the time I can finish off these fields here or this field so yeah I'm going to prep these fields up here uh, that way when we start next episode uh, the class tractor should be seeding down some canola um yeah, we got plenty of other things to do. Maybe uh, we'll spread some lime together as well. And I won't do it all uh, in between episodes, but I'll get the majority of it done. But that is going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you next time right here on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.